What is up YouTube, Fluttershot RLC back with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team game and this is the first game that I played with the new 99 overall 4th of July legend Vincent Jackson and all I can say is dude's a beast, you know, as you would expect from a big guy who can catch really well, block really well. Here on 2nd down and 10, we're there with Derek Johnson but Bruce Carter gets the pick anyways and uh, again, I can't recommend Bruce Carter enough, he's an absolute beast in coverage, he lays the boom, he's, you know, he can get back there in the... Um, back in the backfield when they're trying to run. So again, dude's a beast. We take it all the way for the house for the TD. So we're still here in Florida. I'm using the Bucks jer jerseys. My opponent's got the Dolphins jerseys. And we're here in Miami. So again, sunny, beautiful Florida. I don't know if it's sunny down there. It probably is. It's it's normally sunny in Florida, right? If you're from Florida, let me know how the weather is there. <laughs> um, so anyway, so again, this Vincent Jackson... Um, for a big guy, you know, he does what you expect him to do. He goes up there, catches those passes... Catches, you know, especially because with that one or two catch in traffic, you expect him to get catches like that. He's also just a blocking machine. He's a run blocking machine. You'll see later in the game. Uh, the dude blocks really, really well, and I'm honestly really happy with this card. Now it kind of sucks that we're gonna have to sell. We're gonna have to put him into the set. And D'Angelo Hall really quick forces the fumble. Man, that D'Angelo Hall, he has 78 hit power. True, he gets plus two because of we have Dion Buchanan, but he has just 78 hit power, and it seems like he's getting me like. A forced fumble at least once a game. Like, that's um, from a guy with 78 hit power is just forcing fumbles like crazy for me. And that's that's awesome. I mean, I can't believe that. Um, so, so, again, we have the ball. Now, I'm trying to exploit Vincent Jackson. Now, I, I probably wouldn't do this in a normal game. But, man, I'm trying to exploit him a little bit, you know, or at least try to. To try to really get a full feel for how he plays. You know, with a defensive player like Derek Johnson yesterday, it was kind of hard to do that because... You know, he's a defensive player. There's only so much you can do with him. But I tried to uh, exploit Vincent Jackson as much as I could. Um, so, again, this player is very, very good. I highly recommend it. Um, I wouldn't, I mean, I don't know. Because, see, those those badges or those team collectibles, those jumped up in, in price really freaking quick. I believe the day before the Derrick Johnson came out, I think they were, they were averaging around 10, 11K. Now they're up above, like, 15K. Like, these collectibles are going... Like they're just going up in price, and the Reds, especially the, the especially the Redskins collectible, because the people, because a lot of people think that the Redskins legend's gonna be uh, RG3. I part of me hopes it's not, <laughs> uh, because you know the, the Mutt community doesn't need another you know sp speed back with or a speed quarterback with like a hundred speed, uh, you know, to just cheese around with. But you know what? Hey, man, I'm still going to get it up. I have all the collectibles for every single team. So every legend that comes out on the 4th of July, you will see right here on my channel. Uh, and you'll probably see it first, at least mostly first. Because lately, you know, I'm subbed to all the big Madden YouTube guys. And, you know, so far, the first two, I've been the first one that I see that's posted it. So I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying, if you want to see it first, come here. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, again, um... Those collectibles, man, they, they just jumped up in price yesterday. I pretty much just took the coin loss, and I just got all of them. It's late in the mutt year. I really don't have anything else I can really do with my coins. And, uh, you know, I think that it's going to be worth it to put all of these uh, cards into that set to get the Elite in Madden 16. Because once Madden 16 comes out, I'm probably never going to play Madden 15 again because this game was just so crappy. Like, this is the worst Madden game I've ever played. Uh, so I'm probably not going to play it once Madden 16 c comes out. So... So I think that'll definitely be wor worth it to get an elite that early in the game. Will definitely, definitely be worth it. So I can't wait. Uh, but I don't know. Do you have to do it on the fourth or can or like? I want to know how long the how long the set's gonna be up. Like I, you know, like is it only gonna be up that one day? Because if it's gonna be up that one day, that's gonna suck. Because I think for the Bears and the Raiders ones, I think I'm only gonna have one day to play with those. You know, and so I hope that you could the the set stays stays alive, you know, for like the rest of the mutt year, so I actually can play with these cards before putting them into that set. Um, but again, these cards they don't go for very much. Vincent Jackson, he is the m most expensive, of course, and you can see right there. Look at that. See, 102 catch in traffic just showed its colors right there. But you no, know, and again on this play, we're going deep. And look at that, another nice spec catch. Um, so again, this Vincent Jackson, an absolute beast. And right here, look, look right up there. Look, look at that block. Look at Vincent Jackson blocking. That quarterback can't get off that block like whatsoever. And again, man, he's just an absolute blocking beast. You know, so I mean, that's what you expect out of a big guy. So, you know, like a big wide receiver, you expect them to be able to block really, really well. Um, anyway, so. 
Um, I can't wait to get all. I can't wait to play with all the legends. See what they are tomorrow. We're gonna get the Redskins, and I think we might get one more. I think we. I think tomorrow we might get the Redskins and the Cardinals. Uh, I don't know. It wouldn't make much sense for them to release three on the fourth, but I could be. I, I mean, I could be wrong. I've been wrong before in my life, and I, I could be wrong here. So now my opponent, he's down twenty-one to three. I don't think he has much of a chance. Fortunately, I mean, you know. Uh, the dude just didn't really have a very good team, you know, and that's really all I can say. You know, the dude, my team was just significantly better than this guy's, and so that's really all it came down to. I just, you know, this was the f first game I got with Vincent Jackson, and I wanted to just show it to you guys and tr try to get the gameplay out the day of, um, which I'm probably actually going to try to do here after I get done with this commentary. Um, so, again, if you want to see more Vincent Jackson gameplay, be sure to leave a like, and I will try to get more. Uh, that Derek Johnson... Uh, he, did, I don't know, he doesn't make plays in coverage, but he definitely does get into the backfield pretty well, and that's really all I can say um, for the Derek Johnson. Doesn't really make plays in coverage, but does get into the backfield pretty quickly and uh, does make s some plays there. Um, definitely, I definitely prefer Luke Keekley, uh from a middle linebacker. Um, you know, even though Derek Johnson's a 99, he doesn't make plays like a, like a 99. Maybe we, should try to y maybe we should try to user him more. I'm not sure. Um... But anyway, so we're just going to lob this one up to Vincent Jackson. Look at that, man. I tried to face catch there, and I was able to get the face catch. So he had, like, f over 100 yards on just four carries. And look at this. The blocks, again, are real. And Jamal Charles with the spin move. Jamal Charles doing what only Jamal Charles can do. Best running back in the NFL. Shut the fuck up if you, if you say otherwise. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. I'm kidding. Anyways, guys, I'll see you on the next one. I'm Fluttershy. Peace out. Have a great day. Again, happy 4th of July. Weekday. Week. Whatever. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.